something we did last minute like this is the most spontaneous my sisters have ever been usually I'm the spontaneous one usually I'm the one usually I'm the one like oh let's go do this let's go do that and they're like no we didn't plan it but today she was so spontaneous so we went ahead and went bowling I was going to take my camera but I forgot it I ended up recording on my phone but I am home now. It is 11 o'clock. Um, I am about to watch um, Carisha, please, new episode of her telling her truth, her story, her side of what happened with her and Diddy. But yeah, so I'm going to take my makeup off and I am going to brush my teeth and I'm going to get ready for bed. When I get ready for bed, get ready to go watch the movie. Not the movie either. Get ready to go watch the show. I know that life, life are perfect. And we got to learn from our mistakes. And life is a lesson. Y'all, she already and getting to it. Like, I, I feel like, so bad for her. The people that I thought that would be in my corner, mm -hmm. or that are like, when I was going through the shit, nobody called me. Check on me. Hi, you guys. Good morning. Welcome back to another episode of the vlog. <laughs> so y'all, it is nine something. Oh, it's 10 now. It's 10 10 04. And um, I am about to run some errands. I swear, this is like my errand outfit. Like, I, every time I'm about to go run some errands, I throw on this shirt. I need to get out of it. But I, I am also in the process of changing my style. I gave away a lot of my clothes. Like, a big chunk of my clothes I gave away. So now, I don't have much clothes anymore, y'all. Like, my closet is very, very empty. So, um, I'm in the process of changing my style and then, um, I'm, and then the crazy part is I don't even know what exactly I'm going for. I just know that I want to change my style and I know that the way that I've been dressing, I don't want to dress anymore. I want to dress more like modest, more like grown and sexy um uh, showing but not showing them too much not revealing i want to like i want to be on my grown and sexy you know what i mean like i don't know i don't know how to explain it i don't know who dresses like how i'm the look that i'm going for to give an example i can't think of nobody right now but anyways um i'm about to go run some errands y'all so I have to return my shoes. I had got some on clouds. Um, it was the cloud monsters. I wore them for two days. Two, no, maybe three. I wore them for three days, all three days of my shift. 
Oh my goodness, the bottom of my feet was on fire. I felt like I was walking on pins. I don't know if it's because, um, I don't know if it's because sometimes you gotta break into shoes. Like, Hirachis, you have to break into Hirachis. Like, you can't just put a Hirachi on and be like, oh, these are soak. Babe, you gotta break into a Hirachi, okay? So, I don't know if it was like that, but I wasn't willing to find out. I was like, you know what? I'm on my feet for 12 hours. As y'all know, I work in the ICU. We don't have a tech nine times out of 10. I'm the tech and the nurse. So, I'm on my feet for 12 hours. I don't have time to break into no shoes. I don't. They're either comfortable or they're not. And they weren't for me. So, I'm going to return my on clouds. I am going to try a different on cloud though. Because um, I was telling the girl that was training me. Because I'm still in training. I was telling the girl like how uncomfortable my feet was. And she was like, oh, you should try the, the Cloud Novas. She was like, the Cloud Novas are way more comfortable. They're better. And um, she said she had to try different clouds to find the one that fit her too. So, well, that was a good fit for her, too. So, I was like, okay, cool. So, I'm going to return it, and then I'm going to try the Cloud Novas, um, as she suggested, and we'll see. And then, um, I have to go return my shoes. I have to go get braiding hair for my niece, because my niece is getting her hair braided today, and um, she doesn't have the hair. I'm probably going to cook today. I don't know what I want to cook yet. Um, I kind of feel like making yellow rice and salmon, but another part of me feel like making pasta. The, um, organic pasta that I got from Aldi's, y'all, I love it. Like, I love it. I love the taste of that pasta. Like, I love it. So, I don't know. Maybe I'll do that. I don't know what I want to do here. I don't know if I want to do the yellow rice and salmon, or do I want to do the... The pasta. Last night, um, the last time we saw each other, I was watching, um, I was watching the new Carisha Please episode, and, um, oh my goodness, girl, I was in there crying with her, like, she was crying. If you haven't watched the episode, I'm not going to spoil it for you. But she was in there crying, and I felt so bad for her. But yeah, that kind of hurt my feelings. Because I hate when, I hate to see people who've been friends for a really long time fall out. Like, I really hate that for them. Like, I really, really do. Like, I just be looking at them like, dang, like, you can't work it out. Like, because it's, it's hard to come across people nowadays that are genuine. And it's like when you find your people, I'll be like, keep them, keep them, keep them, keep them, keep them. But it was kind of sad hearing that news that they're not like close. And she was saying like the only person that was like really here for her through that situation um, was Santana. And she was thinking Santana how like, you know, thank you for being there for me and da 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 da. And I don't know. So much to say, but I really don't know the ins and out. I only got Carisha's side. I'm not saying Carisha's lying. I'm just saying we all heard Carisha's side. You know? So, I don't know. But anyways, that's my little... Um, that's my thoughts on them. Y'all. Let me show y'all my on clouds that I'm returning. So, these are my on, on clouds. I'm a size eight, sometimes eight and a half, depending on the shoes. If you want to send me any shoes, I'll gladly take it. <laughs> um, but yeah, so <clears throat> these are the On Cloud Monsters that I had got. You would think it would be comfortable because of this size. You see how thick it was? And I assume that means more cushion for my feet, but I don't know. I think, I think they probably are comfortable. You just need to break into them, I guess. I don't know. But I, I, I'm not willing to find out, like I said. 
So, anyways, I'm gonna return them. Um, now, I just wanted to show y'all the shoes. Um, just in case y'all didn't know what shoes I was referring to, but these are it. Y'all, so I just came to Walgreens to return the OnClouds. Because that's where you gotta return them. And I wasn't able to return it because, supposedly, I'm supposed to put it in a box. I'm thinking they, they meant the shoe box. Because when they said it in the thing, they said put it in a box. I'm thinking the shoe box. So I put it back in the shoe box. Come to find out, that's not the box that they're talking about. They're talking about another box. You got to put it in a shoe box and then put it in another box. And then tape it up. I thought they handled all that. Hey you guys, welcome back to another day of the vlog. So today is Saturday. I went to church, I came home, I had my dinner already. And now I'm headed out because I am going with my nephew to go take his senior pictures today. Um, school haven't even started yet. Like I'm kind of confused as to how he's taking senior pictures because school haven't started yet. But I'm guessing this is the new way that they do it, at least around here. Like they take their senior pictures like way before. But anyways, um, he's taking his senior pictures today. And I just want to go just to go. And I'm going to go. Um, I have to meet my sister at her house and then we're going to drive up together to go get his senior pictures taken. That's probably her calling me right now. But um, yeah, so I am going to head out now and I will talk to y'all later. Y'all, remember the shoes that I was supposed to return yesterday? My on clouds and then um, what's going on here? Remember I didn't have it properly like um packaged well i had packaged it yesterday when i got home i packaged it real good i told myself whenever i leave the house to do it so this is it properly packaged how they want it so now i before i go to my sister's house i'm gonna go to walgreens real quick all right y'all so i just finished dropping off and it was literally the fastest drop off that I ever did. There was no lines. It was fast. I was there for like two seconds. Well, like two minutes. And then now I'm about to head over there. It's 2.35. I don't know why I put myself in such time crunches. Like, I always do this to myself. Like, I always make tight schedules. Because I'll be trying to get everything done. All at once. And as fast as possible. So I could have like the rest of the day to myself or I could have a, a long stretch of break to myself. Like that's how I am even at work, y'all. Like I will literally do as much as I can for my patients. And then when I take my break, like when I go sit to chart, I have long period of times where I could sit because I didn't did everything in the beginning of my shift for my patients. So by 11 midnight, go to bed but let me check my sister's location to make sure she didn't leave me okay so she's still home say hi to the camera are you excited for your pictures a little bit not nervous. early you're nervous i like your hair let me show them your hair yeah you see the light right i was saying to you yeah you lined it up one of my friends yeah nice see I like it. And then the new shoes that I got. Mm, show them your shoes. New balances. No, that's right. And then I have the other Nikes too. Hold on. Speed it up. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Speed it up. Hold on. Speed it up. Speed it up. Scotty. Hide it. Charlie. Wally. Plane, party, party, 
chain. I got it. I got it. Couple plane. Watch this. Watch I lay beside you. Two months ago. Well, not really two months ago, cause yeah, two months ago. It's August now, a month and some change, but still, y'all know what I'm trying to say. I'm telling you, these, 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 these sunburns is killing me, y'all. Like they is, I'm telling you, they is, <sighs> y'all. Every time I try to dress up, I try to do something cute, and cause I'm, I'm trying to change my style. But I don't know to what I want to change my style to yet, and I'm trying to try different things. I just know I want to be grown and sexy. That's all I want, and I'm over here trying different things. And every time I try to dress up, I look like a freaking joke with these sunburns. Like now I gotta change the shirt. I gotta change the shirt. I gotta change the whole outfit. Like these, this is just for my edges, y'all. Don't mind that. But what can I do to get rid of this? This is ridiculous. Look at this. I'm too toned. Like I look like. What am I supposed to do? What am I supposed to do? Like what am I supposed to do? What am I? This, this was two months ago, y'all. Two months ago. Why am I still having sunburns? Like. Y'all, help me, please. Help me. How do I get rid of this sunburn? How? Because, like I was telling y'all in my last vlog, my um my bathing suit, it stopped right there. And then the rest of my arms was just out the whole entire time when I was just skiing. We would just ski for an hour. Even after I lost my phone. <laughs> Even after I lost my phone, I kept going on Jesse because I was like, fuck it, what can I do now? Like, I'm not going to sit over here and be sad about something that I can't change. I can't swim all the way down to the ocean to get my shit. Like, I already paid for this hour jet ski. Like, I just kept going. So, even after I lost my phone, I was still jet skiing for an hour. And now, it's like, I, I don't know what to do. And it's making me so insecure. I don't like going out with my shoulders and my arms showing no more because, like... You see how noticeable it is? Like, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. And it's like, I just want to dress up. I just want to find my style. I just want to figure out what I want to do, how I want to start dressing, but I feel like I can't. <sighs> Y'all, I'm stressed. <laughs> like, what do I do? What do I... I got a girl. My sister's waiting for me. She already texted me. By the way, we about to go get lunch at this um, Puerto Rican restaurant that just opened like a year ago around here. Um, I just found out about it a few months ago. I probably found out about it like my last semester of nursing school and I've never been. So me and my sister are about to go now. And honestly, jeez. I don't know. Should I change the shirt? I don't even want to show y'all the outfit because it's like, what's the point? I might not even wear it. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Like, should I keep this shirt? Should I keep the shirt? Should I keep the outfit? Fuck like, it, I'm going to keep the outfit. I don't care. Like, people just going to have to notice it. Y'all. I just put this sweater over it. Honestly, I wasn't brave enough to not wear something like to cover it up because honestly, I think it's so ugly. I think the sunburn, sunburn, 
so mad I can't even talk. I think the sunburn mark is so ugly. Like, oh my goodness. Like, I hate the discoloration. I hate the fact that you could, like, vividly see it. I hate everything about it. I wish it was in, in a spot where it wasn't as visible, like, my chest area or something. But it's, like, literally on my arm. So, I hate my outfit. I hate the fact that I can't dress up how I want to 